a very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now, before we go into our stories in detail, uh, let's take a look at our headlines. The President seeks public cooperation to fight COVID-19. Accepting nominations for the general election begins. The candidates of the Sri Lanka Podujana Piramuna signed their nomination papers. Secretary to the President instructs the officials to probe into May's price hike attempts. WHO declares COVID-19 a pandemic. In our lead story, President Gota Berajapaksha seeks cooperation of all sections of the society to stop the spread of COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. President highlighted the importance of the cooperation of everyone to the quarantine process for both Sri Lankans and foreigners arriving in the country. The President emphasized that the country will have to face disastrous consequences if we behave in an irresponsible manner. Many countries in the world have been affected by the deadly virus. President Rajapaksha, during a discussion with specialists and experts in relevant fields on future measures held at the Presidential Secretariat yesterday, has advised the officials to suspend the on-arrival visa facility until further notice. Further spread of the disease was thwarted through a coordinated effort by various sectors including health authorities. President Rajapaksha advised to store essential medicines without storage and to streamline the necessary facilities required for the testing process. Accepting nominations from candidates competing in the general election begins from today. The Election Commission said that 59 independent groups running for the general election have made their election deposits. According to the Election Commission, 60 political parties have informed that they will be competing in the general election. A meeting was held between political parties, representatives and the Election Commission yesterday concerning nominations and on other activities relevant to the general election. The Election Commission stated that a committee will be appointed including an assistant election Commissioner to look into matters of misusing state properties and acting against election rules. In more news at home, the candidates and sister political party leaders who contest the general election under the Sri Lanka Podujana Piramuna signed their nomination papers yesterday under the patronage of President Gotabe Rajapaksha. The ceremonial signing of the papers was held following religious observances at the Prime Minister's official residence in Vijayarama. Professor Venerable Billang Villa, Dhamma Ratana Thera, Venerable Murutte Tue Ananda Thera and Mahasangha invoke blessings to the candidate. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha has signed the nomination papers to contest the polls from Kurunagala district. President Gotabe Rajapaksha, former President Maitripala Sirisena and other party representatives were present at the occasion. The general election 2020 is scheduled to be held on the 25th of April. Sri Lanka Freedom Party is to take a final decision on the nomination list of the party today. In a meeting held at the SLFP headquarters with the electoral organizers yesterday, former parliamentarian Daya Siri Jayasekara said that they will take a decision collectively with regard to contest the general election. He said that they are happy that all the party leaders are united at this moment. In more news at home, in quest to transform the payment system in the country, the central bank launched the Year of Digital Transactions 2020, a move that will set the ground for a transition from cash to digital transactions. Governor Central Bank Dr. W. D. Lakshman and top officials were present at this occasion. Delivering the keynote address, senior banker Rajendra Thiagaraja said that Sri Lanka's banks and financial institutions are not doing enough to promote digital banking. Bankers should make more investments towards offering additional digital solutions to their customers. He said these decisions should be made at boardroom level and more should be done to promote QR code based transitions in Sri Lanka as it is a more economical especially for the micro and SME sector enterprises. One of the main areas he identified to see a more cashless transaction emerging in the offering of lower data and more Wi-Fi facilities. 
Secretary to the President, Dr. P. B. J. Sundara, instructed the Consumer Affairs Authority to immediately launch an investigation on attempts to create an artificial scarcity of maize despite the availability of adequate stocks. It had been revealed that inter intermediaries who gain unreasonable profit through trading of maize are behind this attempt. Information has also been received that their motives is to increase the price of chicken by creating a non-existing scarcity during the upcoming festive season. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. A very good day and take care.